Hi, I'm Kyle Lawaji with Affiliated Control, and in this video, I just want to go over how we can help you with your uh, safety requirements, uh, either devices or control of those. Um, very common, it's uh, that safety devices get used with individual relays. Uh, those can be replaced with safety controllers, and in this particular video, I want to talk about how we can make that uh, process of replacing relays with safety controllers or just using a safety controller from the outside of a project very easy uh, using banner safety controllers. And uh, in this video, I'm just gonna demo their safety controller setup software, which is uh, free from banner and very easy to work with. So I'm just gonna dive in on um, setting up a example system here. It's very easy to just add devices into the program. You just go in, you select, you can choose from a number of devices, you know, your typical emergency stops, um, gate or door switches, locking devices, safety mats, two-hand controls, uh, light curtains, um, et cetera. So I'm just gonna add a few devices in here. I'm working with their uh, SC10, which is the safety controller with two relay outputs. And you can select different output types for your devices. Um, just doing a dual PMP light curtain, for example. Then I'll add a gate switch. Again, we'll just do two PMP inputs, and then we'll do an emergency stop uh, where we've got relays going through it. So again, lots of different device types you're uh, able to choose from. And then when I want to reset, I'm going to want a non-safety input. You can choose those uh, either as a physical or you could do a virtual because you can connect to them uh, using uh, ethernet connection. Uh, Mobus TCP IP, um, Profinet as options to communicate. To do that, I'm just going to do a physical wired manual reset button. And I'm going to tie everything into this relay output uh, so that when everything is active and my safety inputs are all valid, uh, things are working. As you go along here, you're going to get messages on the left hand side telling you uh, what you need to connect. So I am just going to require all three of my devices that I'm tying in. I'm going to want to make sure the light curtain is clear, door is closed, e-stop's not hit. As long as those conditions are all met, then everything will be ready to go. And then I just add a function block that can be latch reset, a delay, muting if you're using light curtains, two-hand control. Um, really covers most safety devices that you would use on a piece of equipment. So I'll tie that in. Tie in my reset, and then once everything's made, my output, my relay output is going to be, you know, switched on to provide power to the machine. To make sure it all runs as I want, you can use the simulation feature in the software. So you just start it running, and then you can just simulate turning on devices. So here I'm just going to say reset arm or e stop armed, door closed, light curtain clear. In my reset, output's good, I'm ready to go. Somebody hits the e-stop, everything shuts off, relay not providing any power anymore. Reset that, hit the reset button again, and we're good to go. So I know it works, and then I get uh, my wiring diagram out of here as far as how I just have to wire these devices in, as far as which inputs to be going into. You can see kind of the background logic going on. You get your equipment list. Uh, there's a page for setting up all your Ethernet inputs or outputs for status monitoring on here. And then you just get a summary of kind of what you set up as well. And then all you have to do is upload to your controller and you're good to go. Um, this took me, I don't know, three minutes, pretty quick setup. Um, so if you've got a safety project coming up and I uh, have some questions where we might be able to help out. Please reach out. Uh, let me know. I would love to be a resource for you on your next project. Thanks for watching.